Radwan Abu Wada is a nurse with nine children to support. He is among the 150,000 doctors, teachers, security and office workers across the West Bank and Gaza who will only take home half their salary this month. I will start looking for overtime or another job to maintain my family and my kids, especially when I have young children who need medical care and special lessons. So this income is not enough for me. The PA in Ramallah has a budget deficit of over $500 million and has reached its borrowing limit, taking over $1 billion from the banks. What's even more difficult is that the government didn't inform us in time about this financial crisis. It didn't have a plan to deal with it. For a while it's been turning its back and so far we're learning about the crisis from the media. Officials say that while they aim to reduce their dependency on foreign aid, at this stage they still rely on donors and the Arab countries have not delivered on their promises. This is the least worst scenario that they have chosen, but uh, unless there is a, an assistance from the donors, especially from the Arab countries, I think the situation would be very bad and uh, I can see how, how it's going to be solved. Speaking to people here collecting their salaries, they say they're feeling very stressed and angry that they'll only receive half of it this month. They say that they don't know how their families will survive and they're calling on the Palestinian Authority to sort this problem out as quickly as possible. This man is deeply worried. After the bank deducted money for his loans and the PA gave him half his salary, he only has $100 for the month. In Palestinian society, people also support their extended family, older parents and siblings without work. So there are hundreds of thousands of people depending on these salaries. And for them, this will be a very lean month indeed. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Gaza.